Right, okay, <coughs> so a revisit video um, on the bush uh, mini hi-fi. Um, what I've done <coughs> was I uh, purchased another one off eBay. Um, I think including shipping it was 14 or 15 pound. Um, the problem with this one is it won't play CDs. So what I'm hoping for is the original one um, that I couldn't fix, I'm hoping that the CD player <coughs> actually works fine in it. Um, so I'm going to start off, um, I'm going to do a bit of a, a strip down of this because um, it's something I didn't do in the, in the first video because I'd already started the repair before I started documenting it <coughs> on video. Right, so we have six screws on the back. It's just to give anybody an idea that's maybe planning on stripping one of these down. Um, <laughs> when they're piecing it back together they get a bit stuck as to where all the connections go because there is quite a few connecting the different boards and a lot of them, the, the connectors are the same. So it would be fairly easy to put one in the wrong place. So hopefully this will help with that. <coughs> Six screws out, and if we just lay it backwards, <coughs> I'm not going to bother taking the antenna off. Right, first things first, we've got two screws holding the board where the power <coughs> and auxiliary is, and on off switch. Right. Comes off of there. That's the, the power out to the lower main board, um, and that connects the auxiliary to the main board. Okay, so we've got a ribbon cable and two connectors here. This one just connects the the CD to the main board, and this one obviously for power. Right. Now there's four screws. Take the CD section out. One either side of here. This one's actually sort of hidden underneath the, the power boards when you're piecing it back together. You've got to remember put that one in first, or you'll be taking the you'll be taking the wee power board back off again. <coughs> right now that should just lift straight out. <coughs> now I have <coughs> another one here, which I'll put in at the end and we'll give that a test. Really hoping it works. Right, um, don't really need to take it any further down than this. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You have one, two, three, four screws for the main circuit board. Um, that panel there is just for the the front knob for changing the DAB channels yeah, and that one's for the, <coughs> the CD controls um, two screws to pop that out so it's, uh, it's fairly straightforward really like I say but if you were to take it out and you were to disconnect all these because you're wanting to work on this board 
Um, it can be a bit tricky remembering where everything goes because not every connector is labelled. Um, I think that one is auxiliary CD. Um, the other ones just say Con 101, Con 100. No. Unless you were taking notes, it would be easy enough to make a mistake. Right, so let's get this drive and get it in position. That's that. Get this ribbon cable back in. And this one and the power. So yeah, I was just about to forget to put that screw in first. Not another thing if you want to access the speakers, the screws on either side here. <coughs> and they, these bars just lift out. Right. Plug in the power adapter. And switch it on. And yeah, that came up fine. Uh, let's see what happens in wet. Put a CD in. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Take out standby. Put in 
CD mode, see if that makes a difference. Oh, it did. Okay, let's see if it actually reads. Got the zeros flashing on the screen. Try and press and play. Oh, okay, that one works. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Oh, I guess we can call that one a fix. Uh, and I have a load of spare parts in the other one. Yeah, if you like this short uh, repair video. A fix video, uh, hit the like button. Uh, if you want to see more, click subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.